You bake with it and maybe even wash your face with it. But did you know that from ancient times, honey has been known to have incredible healing properties? In this video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about those and give my review of this awesome medical grade honey. According to a PubMed review, as a dressing on wounds, honey provides a moist healing environment, rapidly clears infection, deodorizes and reduces inflammation, edema and exudation. Also, it increases the rate of healing by stimulation of tissue growth, making skin grafting unnecessary and giving excellent cosmetic results. And that's just one of many studies that have proven the antibacterial as well as wound healing properties found in honey. Maybe you've had some honey in a tea, if you had a sore throat. I know that I've used it as a face wash with amazing results, but did you know that Honey is so healing that you can use it on even a second degree burn, a cut, or even on an infected pimple. There's a particular kind of honey that is especially healing. It's called Manuka honey. Manuka honey is made from bees that forage from the tea tree or Manuka tree in Australia and New Zealand. And it is so powerful, scientists have found, that it's used medicinally to treat abscesses, leg ulcers, pressure sores, wound infections, first and second degree burns, donor sites, and even traumatic and surgical wounds. Research has even shown that Manuka honey can effectively kill MRSA. Amazing, I just love how so much of what we need for healing is already provided for in nature. If you haven't heard of MRSA, it's basically the superbug version of staph or the version of staph that has become resistant to antibiotics. Now, this is actually a major issue worldwide that infectious disease specialists are trying to work on and they attribute it to the overuse of antibiotics. So what I do is I try and avoid antibiotics as much as possible and I also avoid antibiotic creams, so topical antibiotics that people typically use for burns and cuts and stuff like that. Something else that I like to keep on hand besides the regular raw local honey that I like for sore throats and minor illnesses is, is this product. This is called Meta Honey, and I have two different types here. They are both a medical grade Manuka honey. This one is the paste, and the, this one is the gel. And the difference between those two is that the gel is 20% gelling agents, which just means that it's thicker and it kind of like sticks on to the skin a little bit more. This one's a little bit more runny when you put it on the skin. But when I've used these, for a wound that I had, I actually put gauze on top, so either one would have worked just as well. When I used it for a perennial tear that I had, second degree, unstitched, I used the paste and I didn't put anything on there, I just put the honey straight on. And they both worked impressively well in my experience. Like I said, I used it for second degree perennial tearing, unstitched, which healed so quick, I had no pain, no infection, no complications, it was great. And for the open wound, it was actually starting to get infected, it wasn't looking very good, so I actually filled it with some of the Meta Honey, and which is safe to do, at least it was in my experience, because this is a sterilized product, so you can be sure that there's no other pathogenic bacteria or any of the gunk in there. And I had amazing results. Again, within a couple hours and even the next day, it was very much healed, looking a lot better than before. I like to use Meta Honey as a replacement to topical antibiotics or antibiotic creams, and I highly recommend it. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in Meta Honey, make sure to check out the video description below. I'm leaving links to these products, as well as more information that you can find at the mamasanablog.com. If you're new here, subscribe. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday on real food, natural living, natural remedies like this one, and motherhood. Thanks as always for watching, you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.